Back at the Core State Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Wayne Larravee along with Johnny Redker. Good to have you with us on a Saturday night Bulls basketball. And my goodness, we did see some spectacular <laughs> things happen to that first half of play. We did. And, uh, you know, our highlights normally include Michael. We're going to take a good look at this one tonight. <laughs> Take a look at his three shots here in the first quarter. He makes a long shot over the rookie Stackhouse, and then he comes up over Vernon Maxwell and nails a shot, and then he'll get a little skip pass over the top from Dennis Rodman. He buries another one on Maxwell. Michael's shooting in the first quarter was really something. 15 points. He was 6-9 and nine from the field. Now, they, uh, Witherspoon had a very nice game here, too, Clarence Witherspoon. He got the ball. Uh, he gets the ball off the rim. And he's going to go back up strong with it, flip it over the top and in. Now, one of the most sensational plays that Wayne and I have seen, watch this. Stackhouse goes in. Pippen slams the ball. Michael takes it on down. He's got a three on two. He pulls up for a three-point field goal. And, boy, this place exploded. Take a look at the numbers in this first half of play with the Bulls leading 54-47. Sixers shooting very well. This is a team that came in hitting just 44% of its shots. But three-point field goals have been in favor of the Bulls in this ballgame. Vernon Maxwell off to an 0-4-5 a start from the field. Montgomery Ward leading scores in the contest here tonight for the Bulls. Michael Jordan, 11 of 17 from the field. Scotty Pippen, all eight of those points coming in the first quarter, he's 3 of 12 from the field. Weatherspoon, as Johnny mentioned, had a nice first half. 6 of 9 from the field, 16 points. There is Michael Jordan. He was limping coming off the court, you know, at the end of the first half. He checks with Chip Schaefer, the team trainer. Apparently everything under control. And I would imagine he's going to be all right to go here in the second half. John Paxson standing behind him. Pax was the guy that scouted this team out, came ahead here, and was wondering if the team was going to make it in because it was snowbound here. A couple flights canceled yesterday. John has been here all week. He, they, they were kidding him, saying they sent him ahead to scout the weather. <laughs> you know, let's take a look at the uh, four upcoming games for the Bulls. And Monday game in a Washington. Monday afternoon game now. Martin Luther King holiday. And we'll have it for you on WGN. Bulls are right back home Tuesday night against the 76ers. Travel to Toronto in a game you'll see on WGN on the 18th and then Sunday over to uh, Detroit to take on the Detroit Pistons in Grand Hill. The Bulls had a nine point lead after one 29 to 20. Well, you know, six is outscored him in that second quarter 27 to 25. You were talking about the weather red. Lute Olsen and the Arizona college basketball team Arizona Wildcats 18th ranked of the nation were to play St. Joseph's tonight at the Palestra here in Philadelphia. Well yesterday Arizona phoned and said uh, we're not coming in. The weather <laughs> looks too iffy for us to come in. We're not coming in and they just flat out canceled the game. Oh boy. You feel for those St. Joe's people who are probably really jacked up about it. Arizona Lute Olson a big team coming in and they don't show up to play. A lot of dollars lost there. Mm -hmm. Start of the second half, third quarter. Blocked by Pippen is a foul. As he knocked it away from Sharon Wright. First on Scotty, first on the team. Wright will go to the line. So they come right back out. Uh, they had good success going to Wright in that first quarter. He got seven points, made three field goals, had a free throw. Now he's got a couple free throws here. You know, in the last two games, as he reaches 10 points here tonight, the last two games prior to this one, he had totaled just 12 points and 10 rebounds. But this is a guy, you know, who strained his right rotator cuff up in Jersey last night, played through some pain there, and is playing again here tonight. 11 points for Sharon Wright. Bulls by five, early going third quarter. Michael. The fade on Stackhouse. Sharon Wright, the rebound over Rodman. Trevor Ruffin brings it across. Ruffin and Stackhouse, the backcourt combination. Wright, Weatherspoon, and Alston up front for the 76ers. The Bulls counter with Harper and Jordan. Long lead, Pippen and Rodman. Sharon Wright, double down from Pippen. 
Alston takes it out of there. Three to go on the shot clock. Alston to the glass. Alston's first basket of the night. Now they open up at a 4-0 run here against the Bulls. Alston coming off a career night last night with 23 points at the Meadowlands. Scotty Pippen. Heel to the rim. Sharon right the rebound was poked in the eye. Rodman picks the foul up. That'll be his third. Second team foul. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Long rebound off the back of the iron. Wright's got it. And then, oh, just an inadvertent. He was just yeah. trying to slap it away. Slap the ball away. Well, good start for the Sixers here. We'll see this team. You know, we haven't seen them in the first, what, 31 game, uh, 32 games, and all of a sudden we see them two out of three. Stackhouse over Harper, left it short. Rodman the feed for Jordan. He got hit on a play, but it's going to count. Michael goes over to 23,000 point mark. He's got 23,001 at this count. 56-51, Bulls on top. And Trevor Ruffin watched by Jordan. He'll have a lot more people. Yes. <laughs> Pippen oh. deflected that out of bounds. We have seen some spectacular slams, some spectacular deflections and blocks in this game here tonight, if nothing else. Nine to go on the shot clock for the Sixers. Ruffin for three. Yeah, right there. He just upped and cranks and knocks it down. 45% shooter from the arc, Trevor Ruffin. Sixers trail by just two. Jordan finds Harper for three. And a rare tray for Ron Harper. Five for Harp. Five points the lead for the Bulls. Stackhouse off the weave. Nice move down the lane. Couldn't finish. Rodman's got the rebound. Scotty Pippen. 4 3. Ring it up. Two threes. Bang, bang. And Lucas says, I need a timeout. <laughs> timeout, Philadelphia. The Bulls with six unanswered points have stretched the advantage with 9 22 left to go. Third quarter, Chicago 62. Philadelphia 54. On Wednesday, January 24th, Bulls battle the Vancouver Grizzlies. It's Nabisco Jewel Basketball Card Night. First 10,000 fans entering the United Center will receive a Bulls basketball card. Compliments of Nabisco Jewel. Now here's a shot that Stackhouse misses. Looks like Harp gets a piece of it. Rodman gets the ball. He's going to fire it all the way down. Michael gets the ball, takes it in, and that's 23,001. Another milestone for Jordan at the Spectrum. Trevor Ruffin sets it up for Philadelphia. Mike steals. Jordan to Pippen. Pip was 0 for 7 before he hit that 3. Uh -oh. Michael, good move around Ruffin. He was fouled. Sharon Wright came over to help out, but it was Derek Alston who was also personal helping that picks up the foul. Four on Derek Alston. First on the team here in the third quarter. Michael's got his lead leading average. I might also inform you with 30 points. He's been over 30 points now in five of the last six games. And shooting over 50% in each of his last five games. And he's shooting well here tonight. 32 for Jordan. Well, there's 8.54 left. Could be big numbers for Mike. At least 12 and 19 from the field here tonight, John. Bulls leading by 10. Alston out high. Watch out. Almost traveled. traveled. He and now he does. He did. He did. He, he picked the right foot up, the right foot up. He pivot, pivoted, and then he picked that left one up. Uh-oh, yeah, look at this. Jordan was ahead of the field. How'd that happen? They weren't ready. Pip just fired it on down to him. 34. John Lucas team looking very disorganized, especially on the defensive end right now. Well point advantage for the Bulls. Sharon Wright has it knocked away by Harper. Every time a big guy, 6'11, puts the ball on the floor. A little guy's gonna grab it. Pippen for three and 
can't ring it. Man, Pip, there's something about the third quarter. He had three threes the other night. He was five for nine. He put three back-to-back -back yep. threes in. He does it again here. He's got 14. This now is the biggest lead for the Bulls. 15 points. After the Bulls let him get the one. Yeah, it? exactly. You get the idea they're kind of toying with him? Rough into the right hand. Nicely done on the drive. Trevor with nine points in the game. Luke Longley. Scotty Pippen to Ron Harper. Tees up a three. Rodman the rebound. Oh, nice look to Luke Longley. Whoa, okay. A little long for Mike. Not that one, though. <laughs> the three was a little long. It started 36, and he is on a roll, and they sense it here in the spectrum. They've seen Dr. J put on some great performances, these fans, and they know when something special is happening. These are good basketball fans in this part of the country, Philadelphia. Seven minutes to go, third quarter. Oh, 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 oh. Almost had a pick there. Rough and short on the three. Austin knocked it out of bounds, but apparently it was last touch by the Bulls. Perhaps Ron Harper or Dennis Rodman. Both were slapping at it. Mad Max now. Vernon Maxwell in for Derek Alston. Bulls have really opened up some room between themselves and the Sixers with the run they've been on here in the last three minutes or so. Sharon Wright. Rodman cleaning the boards now. Excellent position for the rebound on Weatherspoon. Wright knocked out the interior feed to Longley. Michael over Maxwell. He was pushed. Yep. Little foul by Vernon Maxwell. First on Vernon, second on the team. Let's pause here for station identification. This is America's number one sports station. WGN-TV, Chicago. Michael Jordan to the free throw line. He is perfect tonight. Five for five. Eighty-three percent free throw shooter coming in. Thirty-eight for Jordan. Seventy-three fifty-six Bulls. Another big third quarter by this Bulls team. Trevor Ruffin at the arc for three. Twelve for Ruffin. Luke Longley leaves for Pippen. Scotty gets the step on Stackhouse in the jam. Oh, well, they're wearing the rook out tonight, aren't they? They sure are. Doing a number on them. Defense on the defensive end. Stackhouse getting yeah. tattooed. He's made a couple of nice moves offensively. Sharon right in close against Luke Longley. 13 for Sharon. 75-61. Longley off the feed from Scotty Pippen. Seventy-seven sixty-one. Trevor Ruffin. Dennis Rodman out of the backcourt. Pippen, Rodman! Oh, yes! Look at the crowd on their feet. They love it. A rebound by Rodman to Scotty. A hammer down to the pipe. The Bulls putting the hammer to John Lucas and the Philadelphia 76ers. 5.22 to go here in the third. Scotty Pippen with the jam, and it's 79-61 Bulls.